South Carolina Department of Transportation is narrowing down plans for the Long Point Road Interchange Improvement Project. Meredith Blair joining us now from an area where a lot of people know that area to be one of those really congested areas, Meredith. The plan they're considering now follows a lot of public feedback. That's right, Anna and Michael. SCDOT officials tell me that there are technically six different options on the table right now, but Alternative 2 is the only one that meets the requirement to maintain that left turn onto Bell Hall Parkway. Now, that's the option that they're recommending and preferring right now. Let's take a quick look at what that entails. So this would provide new access ramps to Long Point Road and improve existing ramps. Roads to separate port-related and local traffic are also included in the plan. SCDOT says alternative two meets the need of improving operations and reducing conflicts between both forms of traffic and it aligns with a future I-526 widening. They say this plan balances both the need of the project and the public's feedback. Long Point Roads' interchange provides access to the Wando Terminal. The goal is to reduce traffic congestion by providing the trucks entering and leaving that port with an alternate route. We really want to separate that increasing truck traffic that we know is going to increase as the, as the port continues to grow, which is great news for us. We want to make sure that truck traffic doesn't really interfere from a safety and uh, traffic standpoint with all of the other activity that's going on in the local area. Now, I got the chance to speak with a new local business who actually lives right along the busy road. I'm pretty much in their parking lot right now. It's the Portside Veterinary Hospital. We'll hear from them about how they've seen this traffic impact them and get their thoughts on the Alternative 2 plan. That's coming up tonight at 7. I'm live in Mount Pleasant, Meredith Blair, Live 5 News.